All right, everyone. Hi. Welcome to our first Blender introduction. Uh, we'll be just doing a short one here on some of the camera modes in Blender. So I'm going to, um, you can just click anywhere uh, besides this screen here to get rid of it. So just a note here, this is Blender 2.9.1, uh, which is the, when I'm recording this video, the newest version. You could be using Blender 2.8, you could be using Blender 2.9.0, um, or probably 2.92, and all these sort of things would apply. So don't worry too much about the uh, version of Blender. I'm just gonna click off there. Okay. So now we have our main screen of Blender. You'll see this every time you uh, open Blender and make a new um, uh, Blender file. And we call it the default Blender Cube. I'm just gonna point out a couple things on the screen. Our main editor here is uh, our layout mode. So we can see where our cube is on a sort of three dimensional space. Because you have the Y axis in green here and the X axis in uh, red. And what you can see, but you can see it up here on the compass here, is you have the Z axis that goes through it vertically. Okay, looks like we're working in three dimensions here. Uh, down here you have a, a timeline editor for animations. Up here you have a hierarchy panel. Bottom right here is a sort of details panel. We can do lots of different things with these buttons here. We'll be doing those things. And then you have your toolbar over here and a bunch of other stuff that we're going to get to today. Now, I haven't touched anything yet. But a lot of times, students uh, right away will start using that mouse wheel to zoom in and out of their cube. It zooms towards the center of the screen, and it's zooming in three dimensions. Okay, you can just play around with that if you want. But you can also, pressing the middle mouse button, swing around what's called orbit. I always say swing the camera, but you can orbit around to various uh, positions. To look other ways and then you can look underneath the cube you can go to the very top and look down on it lots of things you can do you may have noticed that there's more than just the cube on the screen this is a light this little circle thing here and this is a camera over here we're not going to play with those uh, right now but they're just the default when you open up blender okay so we got the the uh, zoom and the orbit and just like in Illustrator or uh, Photoshop or other programs, you can use a hand tool to sort of move the entire space, we'll call it panning. So you can shift on your keyboard and middle mouse click, you can hold down shift, and then you can move from side to side, okay? Or from bottom to top. You can also do that with this hand tool over here. Um, but I find it more convenient to just memorize the fact that you press shift, shift and middle mouse button to click and move to the side. All right. That's all we're going to be doing today. Uh, and uh, I'll record another one here for some more complicated stuff. <laughs> 